Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy start of the spring videos. Let's get ready for spring. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. By the way, I have been up since 5.45 and I'm a little bit delirious because I did not sleep the best last night. I put a face of makeup on to just try and hopefully make me look a little bit more alive. But I think I look okay. It's not so bad. How is the lack of contour going? Does it look like I've hurt my nose? Because it's like red over there. <laughs> Do I need to stop putting bronzer on my nose? Let me know in the comments. I'm trying something new here because contour takes me so long and I just can't be bothered with it anymore. I have brace number five in my mouth and it is quite disruptive to my speech. It's a lot thicker than the other ones. I'm just trying to do what I can do with it. So today's video is the start of spring content. And I think I probably say this every uh, season, but I am so excited for this video. I'm probably, probably the most exciting season to be perfectly honest, because this is the season where you have the big clear out. And oh my gosh, have I got a clear out planned for you today. I've actually hired and paid. This is not any kind of collaboration. Um, I found this lady on Instagram and ooh, that may well be her now. Um, I found this lady on Instagram and basically she's going to come in and help me declutter and organize my house. I'm going to let her in because, oh no, it's parcel force. Like I was saying, I found her on Instagram and she's basically going to come in today and help me organize my kitchen so that it's the most like efficiently organized space. Everything's in the most convenient space and organized well. She's gonna do it in my kitchen. We're gonna organize all of my cupboards. We're also gonna do my dressing room. We're not doing the office. Carrie has forbid us from doing the office. We'll wait and we'll do that when Carrie's here. But I'm just really looking forward to this huge, huge spring declutter and I wanna get my house into the most efficient and organized sort of situation. And hopefully as I go, I can kind of style things as well. Now, I don't think I've actually asked Celia if it's okay to vlog her. So I'm going to ask her when she gets here, um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, that's the plan of action for today. I have sent off my design for my spring wreath. I've been really kind of un sort of inspired. And then the other day I was getting out of the car and I walked um, just past the flower beds in front of our, our house. I saw all of the flowers kind of coming into bloom and I looked at the lavender bushes and I was like, Oh my gosh, I would absolutely love to have like a, a lavender wreath. The lady who owns Number 5 Blooms, she contacted me. She did my pampas grass wreath with all of like my dried flowers. And she was like, let's, let's do it. I know that a lot of people ordered from her last time. This was her first time kind of moving into wreaths. And she did such an amazing job that so many of you ordered. And I know there might have been some like problems with the delivery. She hadn't sort of found the right boxes for them so she's do doing her best to find the right boxes so that everything arrives okay i didn't vlog over the weekend i spent my saturday with the girls with my pregnant friends i took them to the ivy in st albans and then we went to the pudding stop which was really good and we just had such a laugh the girls are like due in a matter of days now so i'm about to be an auntie another two times over which i am excited about. So yeah, I'm kind of like waiting for the text message, which is exciting. Then we went to Blenheim Palace to have afternoon tea with the family and took some pics. I'll insert them on screen. My skin is also like mending really well. It's looking great. It's actually not as dry as it was last time. It feels nice and hydrated. I'm mending well, so it's all good. Nails obviously still looking good as well. But I am going to get this box open find out what's inside, and then hopefully Celia will be here. Then we're gonna get cracking, but I'm so excited. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is from my grandma. My grandma texted me the other day, and if you don't know, I've obviously got one of my grandma's um, patchwork quilts in my office, which I love. And she just sent me a picture out of the blue, and she was like, I made this for you. Is it your cup of tea? I just love anything that that woman touches. She makes it with like, um, off cuts of Liberty fabrics and things like that. Like it's got little bumblebees there. To be honest, I didn't think my grandma was still making these. I love it so much. I showed Carrie and I could tell in Carrie's face, she was like, oh my God, that is amazing. But yeah, she's made one for Carrie as well. And I think this will look so lovely in Carrie's home. Oh, she's gonna love this. And just a huge thank you to my grandma because it makes me so happy having anything that she has put her hand to 
makes me the happiest person ever. How cute is this from my grandma? Aww. Is this all right hand stitch? Yeah. She made one for Carrie as well. Wow. Looks like she put Carrie's name on hers and didn't put my name on mine. Oh no. I know, I'm like, who's your favourite? Your favourite's right there. I know. That's incredible though. Isn't how, it? How long does that take her? I don't know. But the thing is, I didn't think she still made these. Did you tell her? From grandma. That's a cute I thing. know. Welcome Celia to the vlog. I've just shown Celia around my house and I feel so sorry for her. <laughs> she was like, this is great. I was like, this is not great. <laughs> this is not great. But we're starting off in my um, dressing room, which I think is good because I think that's the place where I need the, the most kind of help. It's not looking particularly organized at the moment, um, but we're gonna get everything out, everything. I am gonna be going through batteries today like you wouldn't believe, because <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a time lapse. What we were gonna do was get everything out of the cupboard. We're gonna go section by section, because otherwise we will be, well, we won't have enough space to get everything out. We're gonna start with knitwear, and knitwear is something that I don't wear a lot of. I tend to wear the same things over and over again. So we're gonna go through this rail here and sort my life out. <laughs> so you said them in color order? Not yet. Oh, okay, we will. Okay. So we'll literally put anything for now just to sell on there. Okay, and then charity shop, should I get some bin bags to put them in? Okay, I'll, I'll okay. do that. I'll do that. Keep. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to keep that here. Okay, if you want. Keep. Charity shop. Charity. Okay. battery ran out but we have progress so this is the knitwear that I'm keeping which actually looks like a lot but on here we have stuff that's going to go on Depop these are going into the cozy collection I had to fight for these <laughs> and then this is charity shop stuff we're just starting another bin bag for tops we're going to tackle all of these there's definitely a running theme I like my black and my white. <laughs> this is gonna be good because I, I can already see things that I'm like, no, they need to go. Yeah, this is good, this is good. The knitwear is ready to go back in, so I've got all of my knitwear there. It's gonna go into there. We're gonna fold some of it as well. I'm just, are we gonna color code it? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Mm. I normally do dark to light in terms of colors. So depends. dark to light or dark to light? Dark to the left. left to right. Okay. Yeah. Normally then, if you're right-handed, you're going to pull out with this hand, so you want your clothes kind of facing you. Yes. So if they all face that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got knitwear cupboard done. My tops. Oh my gosh. It's so spacious in here. And we've even got all of this as well. We are now tackling, I thought that it was probably better for us to tackle this back cupboard because this is where I really need the system to sort of change and work better because I've got a whole rail back here that I don't use and I've got all of my suitcases but I feel like this could be better utilised. All right! George is in the house, he's going to be helping us. He's going to be helping with the depopping. This is my cover. It'll look great on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are now sorting through coats and Celia is actually impressed that this is all of my coats. We have done like a little bit of a sort out, so there's some that are gonna be sold on Depop. Um, but this is my sort of main storage area. But the thing that's always upset me is that this rail is where I usually keep all of my suitcases. But I really think that it's such a waste and it would be good to have other stuff like actual clothes stored there, but maybe I don't need it. Especially now we're clearing it out and stuff like that. But we're gonna kind of use this for better storage, I think. My dressing room has got even more chaotic. It's just gonna keep getting worse for a while and then it will start to get better. <laughs> We've got the baskets out, so we mean business. We're currently sorting travel tech, normal tech for like videos and battery packs and things like that. We're about to get a clothes, accessories, like clothing care kind of basket that you put like debobblers and cleaners and things like that into, which is really handy. It's gonna be worth it. And I'm not gonna give up vlogging because usually when I do this, I get halfway through 
and I stopped speaking to you guys and I'm like, well, I've ruined this vlog now because I've not spoken to you for two hours, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna get let myself get into the zone so much that I forget about you. Celia's not gonna let me. <laughs> not gonna let me forget. I'll pop you up here and we'll continue with this mission. <laughs> I've just found something that I lost of Ali's, so I've gone and put it on his desk. And when he asks me about it, I'm gonna tell him I don't know what it is. <laughs> Cause he just bought me a new one and he's gonna kill me. Um, but we're gonna break for lunch now. We're gonna go downstairs, have a jacket potato, cause I love jacket potatoes. And then carry on with all this. I'm really, really hopeful that I'm going to be able to keep this this way. I think it's gonna be so much more manageable and to have an actual system in place. Now, even like these things, just so organized and aesthetically organized because I'm such a visual person that the fact that everything is gonna be in baskets and looking great, I'm very happy about this. Right, we are back after lunch. We're about to tackle the cozy cupboard. This is the cozy cupboard because behind here is my radiator and it means that everything in here is nice and warm, but it very easily falls into this sort of state where there's not really any uniform and I've just got so much stuff that it's just ridiculous. We're gonna have a big clear out and I'm gonna be brutal and hopefully make a lot of space. What? Oh, <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. This is gonna be the hardest one, I think, doing dresses because I'm such a dress lover that I'm gonna to want to keep all of them. This, is, this isn't gonna be easy. How are you thinking that we'll structure this three door setup? Because at the moment it's just like dresses shoved in. We can do color, we can do kind of winter, mm. summer. Yeah. We can do winter, summer and colour. Yeah. Because, you know, you might want to do by type. Oh, I don't know. Up to you, we'll play around with it. We'll yeah, yeah, it. okay, cool. Because this is quite good, nice to have this, they're all long and yeah. have it all for dresses. I love this dress so much. I don't think I could ever sell it. I do still wear it. Ignore all of the mess on my center island, but we have color coded all of my dresses and jumpsuits from white through to nude, through to colors, through to blacks. And then we've even done, which you can't see, but we've color coded the bags at the top as well. I love this and I've been totally brutal. It's another rail of items that I'm gonna be selling. We are, I think, over halfway. We've only got these two cupboards left to do in terms of the cupboards. What we haven't done is the beauty stuff and the center island. I didn't realize this was such a project. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is the back cupboard. My holdalls up here, all my coats. Now my boots live here, which is actually so much easier because I can actually see them. I've got my steamer in here, my two main suitcases, all of my camera equipment and my table that I use for filming. We also have this hanging rail that we can use if we need to. So I could put jackets in there, whatever. We're now gonna make a start on bottoms. We are three rails deep of stuff to sell. I've got Gucci in here, I've got Bon Man, I've got suits, I've got everything. And now we're putting stuff back and then organizing. There's just lots of piles that I've forgot forgotten what they've like meant. So I'm trying to ascertain why we put that pile there and what's it for. Um, but I'm gonna pop you guys on a time lapse now because this is when everything should pretty much go back to normal. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The hairdresser's that often. No. I don't, I can't stand it. What was that? A whole bottle of Oh my God, look, I've just smashed the new bottle of Rouge Trafalgar. I am literally devastated. We're gonna have to open up the windows. It's gonna smell very nice in here. <laughs> it doesn't look finished that's because it's not except inside all of my clothing cupboards looks the dream right now however what i am going to be doing tomorrow is tackling the center island and 
the beauty cupboard there and the beauty cupboard here as well um, and then that is this room finished so hopefully we can get that done in the morning and then this room is decluttered i have four bin bags going to charity and i have these three rails which are going to be uploaded onto depop that's something that we're going to be getting on with for the rest of tomorrow i'm guessing i'm going to try and get george to help me with uploading we've got shoes and bags down here i'm a bit bummed that i didn't get it like finished but that's just purely because it's such a bigger job than i thought it was going to be and I've been ruthless, like absolutely ruthless. Seeing all of my dresses look like that is so nice. Once that's done, I'm gonna give it like a, a real once over, clean, tidy, then this room is done. And I think this is gonna be the longest room for the clear out. So um, once we do the kitchen, I think the kitchen will just be reorganizing, not so much of a clear out, I don't think. The utility room and the cupboards, I think might take a while, but that's fine. Sorry if I seem down in the dumps. Um, I'm really like, I'm quite... No problem. Oh, it understood me. It said, sorry if I seem down in the dumps. And it said, sorry. I seem down in the dumps right now because we just tried to upload my video and it's like an hour long video and it's failed. It's not processed. So now my video is late and now George is downstairs working after five and it just makes me... It makes me sad because I don't want that. I don't want that kind of culture in my, my team. So yeah, I have been down there helping by the way, but I've also been up here helping. And also I just hate missing an upload time. It makes me really quite sad. It makes me, like I, I work so hard on videos and I'm so far ahead for them to be then late. It's like, it just shouldn't be that way, but it's literally out of my hands. It's just YouTube. I'm gonna stop vlogging for tonight and then I will see you in the morning when Celia comes back and we finish this room and hopefully move on to elsewhere in the house. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I slept like an absolute dream last night. And you know those sleeps when you wake up and you're like, oh my God, what year is it? But it feels good. I didn't really sleep very well the night before. I don't know why, I had no reason. I wasn't worrying about anything. I wasn't really like, yeah, there was no reason for me to not sleep, but I just, I just had one of those nights. And then I was more active than I have ever been since I've had my Apple Watch yesterday through helping Celia in my wardrobe, because I obviously did a PT session in the morning as well. There was no chance of me doing any kind of workout this morning. I ache and I was just destroyed. So we did not finish my dressing room yesterday, which we kind of like figured would happen halfway through. We did get all of the clothing stuff done. So my car is packed up with, I think it's about four bags and one box of clothing to go to charity. I've got two rails to go onto my Depop. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna get some of that onto Depop today. I'm gonna try and get George to help me because he's just the dream. Today we are tackling beauty stuff. And so I've kind of had a bit of a change of heart with this video. This was gonna be like my big spring home declutter. I think this needs to be a fashion and beauty declutter because this is gonna be such a long video if I do the whole house. And I think to do a fashion and beauty one is gonna be really good. The plan of action is to get a system in place in these drawers and in these beauty cupboards to ensure that I can sort through my beauty stuff myself, and sort of have a system that like, if something comes in and it's not what I would normally use, it just goes straight into a certain box. Can either be donated to charity or given to family or friends. So this video now is a fashion and beauty dressing room declutter. I don't know why I'm doing my makeup. So like, I'm going all out apparently. I've got eyeshadow on, I've got everything. This is the Louboutin in Lionissima. I love this one. It's like a goldy, gorgeous, warm, metallic, which just blends gorgeously. Love that. This is another item that I finished. That is the end of the Coral Lip Glorifier from, oh, I haven't even lined that bit, from uh, Clay de Poe. So I put my usual spice on, because for me, this is like the best base for your lips ever. Just put a little bit on of that, and then I pop this over the top. But I have also been mixing it with the Code 8 AM PM like lip balm nudie thing that looks a lot darker than I would usually go for. But it actually comes out really nice and nude. And that is it. This one thinks she's got a new climbing frame. What are you doing? Get down. And before anyone says to me, don't let my cat go all over the clothes. My cat's hypoallergenic. Okay, so don't worry if you've got an allergy. She's fine. <laughs> Celia has just pulled up. Come in. I have been doing work stuff downstairs and I've 
Let's see if you made it. Make a start. Wow, look at this. That is a setup. I love how you've organized it. It can just stay like this. Yeah. <laughs> I've just basically talked through with Celia what I would like to have in terms of a beauty storage situation because I currently have this cupboard at the back and that is where I put all of my beauty stuff when it comes in like so all of the press send outs and things like that they all get put into that cupboard and I hope that I'll be able to sort through it and put the products into where they should go however that doesn't happen very often you'll probably see me do it on here a lot of the time because I'm like oh it's just got too much what I need because all of like my stock items go in there so if you look here on this dressing table is a lot of the items that you'll know that I talk about pretty much most days. So we've got like the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primers, we've got the By Terry, look how much By Terry CC Serum I've got. I keep that in stock. I've got the CC powders, I've got their mascara. There's so much stuff here that I use all the time, but I don't even know how much of it I've got because it's all in that cupboard. So what I want to get is a system in my dressing table whereby I keep all of the items that I use all the time in stock there. So I know when I'm running out, when I haven't got any in stock. So hopefully we're gonna be able to make sort of sense of this and get a really good system in place. So I'm gonna set you guys up as we do over here and hopefully get to work on the final stage of the room. Oh my goodness, I actually think that this is gonna take the whole day. We are now sorting through all of the drawers. Basically, I want to get a system where I have all of my hair tools and my hair dryer and my straighteners and my GHD Glide in here with brushes and stuff. And then on one side, it'll also be all of like the beauty tools and stuff. So like hair bobbles, clips, eyelash curlers, tweezers, invisible bobbles, things like that. It will be good to have it all in one place and sorted properly. So this drawer section is gonna take on a whole new meaning. I'm nervous. This is such a big job. Even Ali just walked in and he was like, oh my goodness. But at least he brought me coffee, so that's good. That is good. Cheers. Ali is here saving the day, getting my cables sorted for my new hair drawer. Hair drawer, right? Yeah, this is the hair drawer. <laughs> George is currently sorting out the Depop stuff, but he's, are you shopping for yourself or? Yeah, you look good, right? George, I want to ask you a question. How much do you think that that coat cost? Um, 200 quid? <laughs> 200 quid? Small, 400 quid? That coat cost 2,100. <laughs> Take this off carefully. <laughs> but I played, Ali and I did a video together and he had to guess the price of things in my, in my wardrobe and he guessed it was 90 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we are making progress with these drawers. This is now my base drawer and I've got foundations. Obviously by Terry has like a whole strip here. And then we've got dual foundations, Armani, Estee Lauder, Laura Mercier, uh, bits and bobs. So we've got some L'Oreal, Nars, Code 8, Clay de Peau, Lumine, Guerlain, other bits in there, Suku as well, Estee Lauder. We've got powders, bronzers, so that's all sorted. Now we're doing eyes and lips in this one and we've got kind of everyday bits and pieces in here, which actually on camera doesn't look as organized as it is, but it is, but it's harder to get this kind of uniformed feel when you don't have loads of the same products. So that's working really well. This is the moment I've been dreading, lipsticks. I know this isn't even bad in comparison to other people's lipstick collections, but how, how did it get to this point? Do we need sort of like lip balms from lipsticks? Yeah, let's yeah. do that, okay. Generally, quite interested to know, how on earth do you do this <laughs> This is dressing women's wear with George. I feel like this needs to become a segment. How do you dress this so, up? So George, there is a hole somewhere on this dress and it's a wrap dress. What? So, there, I can see it, but so you, so you ah, put that one. Fair play for you girls. Like, World rock. Through the effort. I wish I'd captured it on camera when I told you that I put acid on my face. That was my thing. <laughs> my face dropped. I'm like, no way. Like, that's an actual thing. That's crazy. 
the gift that keeps on giving. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are almost there. Everything is pretty much sorted out, except for these drawers. So we are gonna quickly go through these now, and then, as it stands, we're waiting on some more storage um, essential thingies. I've got some more baskets to come for that cupboard over there. In here is almost done. We've got space for more products if we need to, but everything is really nice and organized in there. So I'm gonna make a start on these, get this room finished. I'm gonna bring up the washing as well. And then, I can't believe this has taken two days. It's amazing how much stuff was in this room. <laughs> evening everyone I was actually gonna stop vlogging because I'm so tired <laughs> this is a lot um, but we are on the home stretch basically with this room but we can leave this room alone for a little while it's not been judged the shelves need styling it's not been cleaned unfortunately but everything is now sort of organized in these drawers so this is all of my gym leggings and tops we're gonna get some dividers, those things that are just like adjustable. I'll let you know, we've ordered quite a few different things to arrive tomorrow. So that's all organized, everything is organized. I'm gonna give you like a proper tour and walk you around this room at the end of the video and just show you where everything is because tomorrow I start a different video for the house because it's just, it's a lot. This has been a labor of love. We have a lot of space in here now and it feels good, but it has been, a piece of work and out here so this is my dry cleaning here and this is what's left out here so that's a box for a collaboration that I can't unbox so that's gonna go in a cupboard this is all the stuff that I'm selling loads and loads and loads of stuff has already gone on Depop so we're gonna be packaging some of that up tomorrow as well all of this stuff is going basically we've done some big food shops just to like stock up all of the cupboards and we've actually got a load of veg currently left over so I had to show you what is going on in the kitchen because this is honestly the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. This one is cooking everything. God knows what. Master at work right here. What are you making? Oh, are you making the cauliflower pasta that I made? That's what it is. Broccoli pasta? It's not pasta. Oh, so what are you making? Like cauliflower cheese style. Oh, you're gonna bake it? Yep. Oh, you are just everything. Like asparagus with melted cheese and cracked pepper and maybe some peri, peri salt on. With what? Just on its own, just like laid out. But, oh, so we just... Hey, well, I'm not finished. I'm gonna do some courgette as well. He's even put the fire on for me. And he's got classical music playing, but he's just summoned me to the kitchen table. <gasps> he's cooked up a storm. Well, well, well. Look at all this. And he left the cheese on the table because he knows I'll want more. <laughs> Cheesy asparagus. Wow, it's a cheese fest. You know your wife. Good morning, everyone. I'm probably looking a little bit tired. It's Sunday. I drank two bottles of champagne. Well, not just me by myself, but I drank two bottles of champagne last night with Ali and the in-laws, my in-laws, to celebrate um, Ali's stepmom's birthday, which was lovely. So I'm a little bit delicate, not delicate. I had a little bit of a headache this morning, but it wasn't too bad. And so now I'm up and I'm gonna go for a run. We went for a run yesterday. This is not my usual running situation. Um, I'm such a fair weather, oh babe, it looks like it's raining. Who cares, we're gonna go out in the rain, doesn't matter. I'm a fair weather runner. I don't like running in anything but sunshine and warmth, and this is not that. It is stormy, it's miserable, but we're gonna go out anyway. Then we're gonna get dressed, get ready, and head to the local garage to pick up Stella Magazine because, oh, my goodness, I actually can't believe I'm saying this and I can't believe I'm gonna to get to show you this, but there's like a four page spread on my house in the in Stella magazine. I just, I can't deal. They did a shoot here and I was not expecting that at all. They also mentioned and showed my dressing room online yesterday. I'll put links 
and everything in the description box but oh my goodness this is so surreal, so I'm out of breath, I'm just going upstairs, looking good for my run. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pick that up and give you a sneak peek. Now we're gonna head out on a run, and then I'm gonna finish off my dressing room with you today. And hopefully by that point, I'm a little bit fitter, because right now, it's not looking great. We've also been having a dance this morning, because Ali woke up just kind of like worrying a little bit about what's going on and stuff like that in the world. And so to cheer him up, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Ali's taste in music, I was blaring Top Loader and Jamiroquai out throughout the house and we were dancing in the kitchen and it was lovely. I put it on my stories, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely go follow me there. That was so liberating, that run. I can't even tell you. Because I knew that I was washing my hair, which I obviously have already done. I didn't care about getting wet or my hair getting ruined. And it was just so nice because it wasn't too cold. Like it's definitely warming up in the UK. So I very much enjoyed that little run and it's just nice to get out even though we're only running like 3k at the moment it's better than what i have been doing i have just been sat here basically thinking to myself about how much i'm using this space so much better my hair tools drawer is probably one of the most revolutionary things or revelationary i never bloody we laugh about this all the time but i never know which one it is revolutionary revelationary let me know in the comments <laughs> but it's just so handy having it all right in front of me. I'm gonna get some more of my dividers though to go in here and just give it some division so everything stays untangled, if you know what I mean. But it's it's just wonderful, it really is. I've just got some last few bits to do in here today and show you how I'm organizing it. Everything is just so pleasing to my eyes in here. It's unbelievable. I'm also gonna try and do a blog post in conjunction with this. I'm gonna sit down and maybe do some writing this evening. Just basically talking you through what I've used and stuff like that. I'll also leave all of Celia's information in the description box because honestly she's just amazing. It's been a joy having her and she's so good at what she does and she really sort of understands my vision in terms of like everything being aesthetic. It's been a labour of love in here and it's cost me a lot to put it to the way that I wanted it. There just wasn't really much care taken in the design, I think, and that was what was really sad about it. But now I'm getting happier and happier. The only thing that I constantly toy with is changing the floor, which doesn't mean that I hate my floor. I love the floor. I just wish it wasn't so echoey because I can't have curtains. I wonder if there's a way to like have soft, soft fabrics that just sit either side of the windows to make it look like curtains. I think it would soften this room a lot, but I don't want it to look too frilly either. I can't find anything on Pinterest, but that's sort of um, something that I constantly think about just to, to soften the echo in here because otherwise the only other option is to put carpet down and I don't really want to put carpet down. I love my floor, I love it. But for the acoustics, I'm just a bit like, oh, because I film in here and stuff all the time. This is like my main filming room, as you'll probably know, the amount of my videos that start with me sat here chatting to you. <laughs> but I'm getting myself up and ready because my next video, I'm unboxing a load of orders that I've made and trying those on with you and talking you through them. So hopefully that will be going up and I can show you this mound of boxes here. But I need to go and pick up the telegraph. My mum's already got one and um, Ali's parents have got one as well. It's all good. I'm definitely going to frame it for the office because this is just unbelievable. I had no idea it was going to be over that many pages. So exciting. We are in the car heading to the local shop and by the local shop I mean probably around 10 minutes away because we don't actually have a local shop in our village. Ali's treating me to the paper. I want to get a couple of them. I want one to frame because this stuff just doesn't really happen to me that often. So yeah, I think I'm going to get one to frame. And he's had my car cleaned as well. How nice is this? Our car. You were going to say that then, I weren't wasn't. you? <laughs> I was just going to say I'm very proud. Oh. Very proud that my home's in a magazine. All the effort I put into that. <laughs> All the hard work's paid off. <laughs> yeah, all that hard work, babe, all that hard work. I think I'm probably gonna get quite a lot of messages about what I've got on my lips today. I've got MAC Spice Liner, and then I have a lipstick from Code 8. It's not a lipstick, it's like a liquid lip slash gloss. I'll pop it in the description box. I don't actually know what it's called. <laughs> there's only one, no, there's two. Love if the magazines inside are gone. <laughs> Whee! There it is, yeah, I just yeah. saw it. Um, I know. 
is. There you go. <laughs> Smart living. It's me. It's you. <laughs> Shut the front door. So where's, wait, hold on. Wow. One, two, three, four, five pages for my house. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. I can't believe how big the picture of my living room is. What the hell? This is so cool. They've got the snug in there. They've got kitchen, stairs, other side of the kitchen. I, just, I can't believe it. I never thought I was going to achieve this. <laughs> I didn't think this, I could achieve something as amazing as this. I'm proud of myself. You are, I'm proud of you too, babe. All of that hard work that you put in, I'm so proud of you. This picture right here is getting cut out and framed in a really big bougie frame. Right, back to the dressing room. Let's get this all finished off. Ali is currently working upstairs. The basket's out are here. These are the ones that are going into my beauty, like new in cupboard. So I've been using one of these and we swapped some over for the laundry cupboard. And I used my old toilet roll boxes to put them in. Now I've already donated a very, very large box of this stuff. This is just, I'm keeping this stuff for my friends to go through, like my pregnant friends and things like that for them to come and pick some beauty bits because they are going to need some pampering. So I've got three of these uh, baskets now, which should act as really good storage rather than keeping it in with my main stuff because there needed to be like some separation from what was to give away and donate from like my actual stuff. So now everything over there is mine and I'm keeping it. So these slot into this cupboard perfectly, make accessing it really easy. I've got a spare one. This is gonna be for bits that I need to sort through. So those two are giveaway. This is to sort through when they come in. Those are just there at the moment because they're like storing some bits in and I've got some collaboration stuff. So this can go to recycling. These are the boxes that I'm going to be uh, opening in my next video, so I'm gonna move them out. But I do have these two items, which I purchased on Amazon, to unbox with you. It's not unbox, I've already opened them. Basically, I've ordered a necklace from the brand Dylan Lex. I can't remember if I've already told you this, but I've wanted a Dylan Lex necklace since I started vlogging. Like, when I was at university, I just used to dream of these necklaces and then I kind of forgot. I didn't really see much from the brand online and I just stumbled across it online and I found the one that I wanted and so I've ordered it. So hopefully it'll arrive next week and I can show it to you in my little unboxing video. Uh, but I wanted to, to get something to display it because they're expensive necklaces. And I wanted it to go with the decor in this room and the colour of this is like perfect. So this is like a really beautiful, natural feeling fabric and then the necklace obviously will just sit there. I think it will be slightly bigger than this, but I couldn't find anything bigger than that. And then it can be on display because it's it's a piece of art. Dylan Lex necklaces or any of the jewelry is actual art and they are an outfit in themselves and I love pieces like that. So I'm really excited for it to arrive. The other thing that I got was my folding board so that whenever I need to fold something, I can do it in uniform with everything else. I wish this was wood, but I couldn't find a wood one, so I had to get this one, but it, it shows you all of the different ways and how to do it and things like that, like shirt. So this just will hang in probably with my tops or something like that, and I'll just hook it out whenever I need to. Fold something. <laughs> my mind went completely blank then. <gasps> Me. Right, let's get this stuff in the rubbish. I'm gonna get um, those boxes moved out, the ones that I've got the new stuff in because I don't want to be tempted to open them in this video because this video is long enough and you can come back on Thursday and watch me then. Okay, okay, okay. Before I go, this is the, the lipstick that I um, wanted to tell you about. This is the Lip Lacquer Splash. I'm, I'm guessing it's glaze, and this is from Code 8. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna put some on now, actually, so you can see. Um, not that this is a beauty video or anything like that. It also tastes a bit like watermelon, which I quite like because my favorite sweets are those ones from um, Candy Kittens, you know, the watermelon ones, the sour ones. I 
bloody love them. How does that look? Nice and peachy nude. I am such a peachy nude type of girl. Anything too pink and I feel like I look like Barbie. Anyway, I'm gonna get things tidied up and I'm gonna show you around all of the different systems. So hopefully this is gonna be super useful. And this room is officially finished. Oh my goodness. I feel like Janice from Friends. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna pop you on a tripod and I'm gonna show you around my dressing room and show you all of the new storage in here, basically. Some of it will be the same, just better organized. This little section here, these three, I think we need to start there because it's just my fave. This is my main um, mirror and this was a spoke sized mirror that I had put in because I wanted my outfits to be seen properly. And I think that I just, just got it right. I think I could have gone a bit bigger and it would have been amazing, but I do like that when I take pictures in this mirror here, you're able to see that I'm in my dressing room and that it's a mirror, but it's not restrictive. So in here, we start with the darks, of course. But yeah, we have the dark, all of the blacks, um, and I've had a big clear out of this. And it's weird, I don't actually have that much black stuff. I just wear the same black stuff over and over again. We've also matched up the bags at the top, which works really well. In here is all of my colors. Um, I've got yellows to reds to blues and patterns and greens and pink patterns and then pinks and nudes and more of the sort of champagne-y color items in there. This is the biggest run and I have nothing on the bottom. I used to have all my boots down there. I could never see them and it was really frustrating. Like all of my knee-high and over boots um, was stored down there and I just couldn't see anything and it was really frustrating. Bags at the top, colour matched, like a bowls. And then finally, in this cupboard here, we have all of my white dresses. Now this has been edited down immensely. We put the white bags at the top and the white like um, races hats, but this is the dream right there. I can see everything. I've got a few more new bits that are going to be going in uh, in a week's time when you see the next video, but it's looking good and this just makes me feel so calm. I can see everything. I don't have to fight to get anything into the wardrobe. It works perfectly. On the shelves to the side, this is where I tend to use this for more of a like display and like an edit of my favorite accessories and some like knitwear to soften things up. I didn't want it to be just hordes and hordes of different colored shoes and bags. I wanted there to be an element of styling in here and I wanted them to really um, showcase the color scheme. So it's gone for nudes, blacks, creams and whites and I think that it all works really well. In this cupboard is my cozy clothes and t-shirts. So we have t-shirts up here, a lot of my intimacy basics down there and then random sweatshirts and jumpers, just things that I like to throw on when I need like a cozy day. Over here, we have a cupboard here. We have a cupboard in this corner here. And then we also have the cupboard here, which is where new and beauty stuff goes. So in here are all of my tops. As you can see again, they have been color coordinated from light to dark. Um, I don't actually have a lot of colored tops. So this just looks very, very pleasing. It's just kind of black, a little bit of gray and pink, white, and some random floral patterns down there. And then this cupboard is my knitwear. Now I know that a lot of people say that you shouldn't hang your knitwear. Totally respect that, I'm gonna stand on this side. Totally respect that. However, if I don't hang my knitwear, it doesn't get worn. So I've had to come to this kind of conclusion that it has to be like this, otherwise I don't wear it. Now this cupboard goes right back into the side of this cupboard here. I have hats and warm fuzzy things there and then I've got some scarves folded here. Again, this is completely color coordinated from white to gray to black to colors down the back and it is very pleasing. As I've shown you in this cupboard, can you see in here? No, this is not really, I've just shown you in there. This works well. This is like where everything that gets delivered, beauty wise, campaign wise, um, project wise, testing wise, everything goes into this cupboard. So as you will see here, I have a number of lab samples. I always love lab samples personally because um, it means I get to try things out ahead of everyone else. Not because I want an exclusive, but for me, I love knowing whether I'm gonna love a product before I'm asked to potentially work on it. 
So I always say the, the sooner that you can get me the product, the more likely it is I'll know whether I enjoy it, using it, love it, use it every day. That's how I do it. So if something is released and you see me working on it, chances are I've been using a lap sample. So this is like a walk-in wardrobe inside a walk-in wardrobe. Um, this was bigger than my walk-in wardrobe at my old house. Uh, but in here, I've got all of my travel bags and my holdalls, Louis, book tote, and my vintage Gucci that belonged to my grandpa. And then I have all of my coats, again in colour order, and all of my high boots sit in this cupboard here because I can see them all. And a lot of people ask, why do I have a fridge in my dressing room? Well, the fridge is the pièce de résistance of this room because wine is why it's there, wine. If I have my friends over, which isn't often, and we want to get ready in here, why? Why not? That's why I've got my fridge, why not? <laughs> I also keep my steamer in here. I have plug sockets behind my boots, so that plugs into there and I can just pull it out whenever I need it. I've got my luggage stand. I've got all of my filming stuff in here. Um, these are all now sorted into baskets. I've got my table for filming. I've got spare hangers and I've got my two most used suitcases. Next up we have in here where I keep on this shelf, I keep all of the boxes of my expensive jewelry. There's nothing in them. There is nada in them. So before you think that, that that's where I keep all, oh, it's not. <laughs> um, these are all of my jackets. So like leather jackets, bomb blazers, little just not quite coats, but jacket things. I'm so sorry about the rain. It is absolutely hammering it down. So it's probably really distracting. We have this cupboard, which in here is all of my bottoms. Again, organized into perfection in terms of colorways. These uh, hangers, I have to say, do not buy those hangers for your bottoms. <laughs> Ali has some much better ones. I will try and link them in the description box where you literally just slide them on and slide them off. These are a faff. And if it wasn't completely and utterly wasteful for me to change them, I would. So that's all skirts, jeans, trousers, everything in there. Now let's move on to the center island. Now, I think the center island is something that a lot of people don't tend to go for, especially as bloggers or YouTubers, because, well, in the UK, space is more limited. It's a big room, but once you put something in the middle, it's quite, it is quite small, but I needed, a lot of storage and all of this vast space for me was a waste and I know that for filming it would make it nice to be able to film like this but I can actually film like this I can and this is how I film my videos in terms of filming my cutaways and things like that I actually don't need to film film landscape for that because portrait is perfectly fine and it slots on the screen sideways I'm probably really messing with your heads now but that's how I do it. So for me, I went for functionality as a dressing room over functionality as a filming room because it works as a filming room this way anyway. And that amount of storage is just game changing. On this side, I have all of these drawers. These are all clothing and accessories. In here, I'm going to get some more dividers for in here and I'm gonna have the same thing, or everything's gonna be sorted like that um, because these plastic ones are a little bit too high um, so they kind of e rub like that. In here we have all of my gym kit separated by three dividers which works perfectly. And then in this one we have all of my swimwear options, again separated by three dividers. All of these are from Amazon, I will link them down below. I have a spare drawer which means I can go shopping. In this drawer I have all of my jewellery accessories and things like that, like all of my costume stuff and earrings. These are again from Amazon, I would have loved to have had proper inserts but I don't think the place that I got my wardrobe does them I've never seen them so I don't know next up we have my underwear drawer oh we have one little one out of place Celia don't kill me this is all of my underwear organized by type so all of my under like my matching underwear bits are there then in the bras and the crop tops and the under non underwear bras they're all in there this is the dream and I love it, it's so good. Then we have my lingerie solutions and wardrobe solutions drawer. So I've got tights and nude shapewear, things like that. Not shapewear to like hold me in, but just shapewear to like disguise if something's a little bit sheer. All of my wardrobe care stuff in here. So I've got insoles, I've got a deep bobbler from the steamery. Um, I've got crepe protect, I've got a suede cleaner thing, I've got plasters. And then these are like my sports underwear, just like seam 
theme free stuff and vests as well. And then I've just got some random pajamas, which I need to get some dividers for. So this hasn't been done yet. This is the only place that hasn't been done. Then we come around here. So this is my bespoke stool. This has been cut down so that it fits under my dressing table. And then my cushions are bespoke as well. On top, I keep random things that I use kind of every single day. These are just some new bits that I wanted to try from by Terry and my CC serum, which really should have a lid on it, otherwise it looks ugly. All of my Sigma brushes, my room fragrance. This is my room fragrance of choice. This is the Diptyque 34 fragrance. I love it, it's so sophisticated. This is some, I think it's almond oil for my hair. Um, some face wipes just to tidy up. I don't use face wipes for my skincare. I use it for like tidying up makeup. This is an old mirror that I got from like TK Maxx or something like that. And then my gorgeous artifact flowers, which are the finishing touch in this room in this gorgeous like brassy bronze vase. And then I have the matching ones up here. I wanted two and I just, I think these are my favorites. Like these vases are unreal. I've got the little glass storage there. And then in this drawer, this is like my hair drawer. This is like my, my squad, basically. My GHD Helios, the GHD Glide, and the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. These are all of my brushes. I basically use GHD or wet brush. These are, this is just kind of like my random drawer. You know when you have loads of stuff and you don't know where it goes, that's where that goes. So like discount cards, chewing gum, blah, 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 blah. Brushes, all of my Sigma brushes, if I ever need any more, they're all in here. Hair bubbles, hair bands, clips, tweezers and eyelash curlers and random bits in there. Then we get into my beauty storage myself. This is my everyday drawer. All of the stuff in here is stuff that I pretty much use every single day. We've got some Saint Tropez, we've got some Laura Mercier, we've got by Terry, we've got Elizabeth Arden, you name it, it's in there. I love makeup. So we've got like face-based products, concealers, powders and bronzers, eyes, lips, and contours and highlighters, basically. That's how it kind of works in there. This is a lot of stock stuff. So in here I've got, this is all by Terry stuff. Uh, this is all Laura Mercier stuff. Um, as you can see, it's all pretty much sorted into brands and products as well. So we've got foundations in this section, highlighters and primers in there, but there's primers in there as well. Concealers, powders, bronzers, yeah, it's all kind of in there at the moment. And then we move down to this drawer. This is palettes, eyes, and eyeshadows, and mascaras, and the beautiful Christina Boutin products that I can't fit in anywhere. Lips and lip balms. And then, down here we have a free drawer, which means more makeup. <laughs> and then the final cupboard, which has been such a joy to finally get to work for me. Um, it's now a lot easier and we have space at the bottom as well. That was where I used to keep my giveaway box. Now I have all of this stuff in here. So we have makeup bags and travel products in there. So like minis, tan, hair electricals, fragrance, hair styling and some makeup bags there. That is my dressing room. Holy dough balls. I mean, that has been a minute. I didn't realize it was gonna take this long to do my dressing room, but it has been so worth it and I'm so happy with it now. I will link all of the intricacies of this room in the description box down below as well. So the color, the light, the handles, this Ikea buffet. My chairs were obviously bespoke, so I can't lick those. And all of the other, bit, other bits and bobs. But this is my dressing room, my dream dressing room. And it makes me so happy being up here. I can't tell you what a joy it is to share it with you finished. And here we are in this amazing room where I feel incredibly fortunate all the time. Like every single second, I feel so fortunate that I get to have this room and I get to talk to you about it and film in it and I can feel myself getting a bit emotional. So it's guys, but it is. It's such a, 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 just a dream. Working on this and getting it right and getting it to what I wanted it to be has just been joyous. So thank you so much. And I hope that this hasn't been too long, but this has been such a like amazing declutter and therapeutic thing. I feel so much calmer in here. Everything that's sold is being packaged up to be sent. Coronavirus is having like a little bit of an effect on things. So just bear with us. But if you have bought something, it will be coming to you very, very soon and safely as well. So yeah, if you have any questions about this room, let me know in the comments below. I know that people often ask um, who made the room, like who built the, the units. As you know, I didn't have the best of experiences with that. 
and I'm not someone that comes on here and bashes people despite it being a really, really crappy experience. So I'm not gonna do that and don't put me in that position where it, it just makes it awkward because you know, I'm, I'm not gonna do that and I'm not gonna bad mouth them. Y'all know who it is anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna be unboxing lots of new stuff, not to fill up this room, but as you can see, I have space to grow into this room and I am going to be working very, very hard to ensure that I don't get back to the same position that I was where it takes me two days to declutter this space. Okay, it's not, you can hold me to that. But yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.